Hello everybody out there in the land of make-believe Uncle Barco here out in the yard and uh, got all the colors on this lollygag. I'm done coloring it. I put on several layers. I finally got a look I like. Uh, there's a little blue chrome under there. I don't know if that made much of a difference, but I'm uh, going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put on some crystal clear uh, uh, varnish coverage. Coverage of coverage. It's gonna, I'm spraying it. I'm spraying it so it's shiny. So uh, that'll be fun. And uh, let's do that now. Okay, I got a little spray on this, but then I remembered. Bum bum bum. I got this bird's nest here, and it might actually have baby birds in it. I can't. I can't see in there. Can you see in there? Is there baby birds? Tell me if there's baby birds in there. In any case, I am. Uh, I don't want these fumes to. To. Uh, bother the bird so I'm gonna move it we're moving it away from the boys okay we got birds all over the place so I am now in the street I'm in the street so uh, but I'm away from all the wildlife so because this stuff's this stuff's nasty it's dangerous, dangerous chemicals here. So I, I don't mind huffing it, but I don't want to force it on any uh, any critters. A, a butterfly might uh, flutter by. A butterfly flutter by. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and finish this off. All right, first of all, I'm gonna address the uh, uh, one by one aperture. Here is, uh, I was gonna make a, uh, this is just gonna be a quick Instagram video, 60 seconds, no more, but uh, it got a little more complicated. So uh, that's why it's square. Um, but uh, the other thing is that I, I have never used, so this is an enamel um, gloss finish over, uh, what do you call it, acrylic. I, I painted the acrylic. So it's, it's a resin figure with acrylic paint on it and then I just sprayed it with that enamel you saw me do it uh, so um, I had asked on the interwebs hey can I use enamel over acrylic and as far as I recall everybody said yeah you can but uh, I went to move it and I just I touched it with my finger right there and I don't know if you can see it let's get closer so you see right there see that little that's from Jimmy just touching it and the first layer of paint came off what you're seeing there is the chrome uh, that's the layer right underneath uh, I did the whole thing in chrome looked pretty cool um, but uh, then I did a, a layer of pink over that and I just touched it just barely touched it with my fingernail there and uh, boop, left that took off a whole layer of paint so that when I sprayed the enamel on there it got all the paint got all mushy or something and the whole thing just seemed to be um, I don't want to touch it now. The whole thing seemed to be softer. And that's probably because I got it out here in the sun. But uh, so I'm going to give it, it's probably been sitting here. I sprayed uh, three coats on it. It's probably been sitting here about uh, 10 minutes. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and then take it inside and uh, look at it under the light, see how it uh, worked out. But um, yeah, I'm not going to touch it again until I am sure that that uh, finish has cured Okay, so I got it inside, let it uh, cure a little longer. I said that I wasn't going to touch it, and then immediately when I turned off the camera, I touched it immediately. Almost immediately after I turned off the camera, I touched it. It's dry, though. It's dry. It's a little sticky on the bottom where the, you know, it'll kind of drip to. 
But uh, other than that, I'm not leaving any fingerprints on it or anything. I think it turned out well. Um, you know, uh, this is this is my first toy here uh, that I made. I made the I made the thing out of a model, and then I cast it in. I uh, made a mold in silicone, and then I cast it in resin, and then I painted it with the uh, acrylic paint, and then huh 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 finished it with an enamel gloss. I think it looks great. So this this is a toy. This is my first toy. Yay! So um I the 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 model I used had some inconsistencies uh and the paint has some inconsistencies. So I would never sell this as is. Um this is for my own personal collection. Of course, because it's my first toy. Still need to sign it. But then it's boom, done. Drop it in a bag and uh, ship it out, except for I'm keeping it. Um but uh uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to redo all of my models. I've decided to make them all, uh, this is a, a two inch model. Decided to make them all three inches, right? Is that right? That's a two inch. That's a three inch. Yeah. Decided to make them all three inch models. And, um, I didn't, I, I made this is okay. I'm not real happy with it, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to redo them all in, um, Sculpey. I've got a bunch of Sculpey there. So I'm going to redo them all as three inch Sculpey models just like this one here except a little better it just doesn't have the personality i was going for it's close it's close uh because before i was doing them all on this castelline clay um which does not harden so you can you can you know change it as you go but um that's the plan i'm gonna do uh all five space cuties in uh Sculpey and then uh make molds that's the next two weeks uh, after, uh, at the end of the next two weeks, my goal is to have an army of space cooties ready to drop in bags. So, um, I'm excited about that. Don't I sound excited? Um, that's it until next time. Uh, always remember, uh, art is 10% vision and 90% remembering what your particular vision is. That's it. Stay freaky and God's. Speed humans.